So let's try a problem now that we've derived the equation for a hot air balloon to determine how many passengers a hot air balloon can carry. So the question is, if a balloon has a volume of 2,800 metres cubed and the basket fuel and balloon weigh 270 kilograms without passengers, if the air is heated to 100 degrees C from an initial temperature of 25 degrees C, how many 70 kilogram passengers can it carry? And assume that the density of air is 1.2 kilograms per metre cubed. Okay, so we're going to have to use the formula that we derived previously the total force is equal to rho Vg 1 minus the initial temperature over the final temperature minus the weight of the balloon. Now for the balloon to be able to lift off, the limiting case will be when the total force is zero. The force is needed to accelerate but you can keep going at a constant velocity without any force. So to get the most passengers it can carry, we'll have the limiting case where this force is zero. So basically that's saying that the outwards buoyancy force is equal to the downwards weight force. So we can rearrange this e equation. We've got that the mass of the balloon, and this is, this is the total weight of the balloon, including the passengers, is equal to rho Vg 1 minus T1 on T2. Now we can ca cancel out little g from each side. We know rho, it's 1.2. We're told the volume of the balloon, that's 2,800 metres cubed. We've got 1. Now the initial temperature is 25 degrees C. This is in Kelvin, so 25 plus 273. And the final temperature is 100 degrees C, so 100 plus 273. So we can solve this on the calculator and we get 675.6 kilograms. Now that's the mass of the balloon plus the passengers. So we've got that this is equal to the mass of the people plus the mass of what it says here, which is the basket fuel and the actual balloon. So basket fuel, balloon, everything else. And so the mass of the people is equal to the 675.6 minus the mass of the balloon, fuel and basket, which is 270. And so this is equal to 405 kilograms. Now if each person weighs 70 kilograms, we've got the number of people times 70 is equal to 405, and so the number of people is equal to 5.79. And since we can't take 0.79 of a person, this tells us that the most people we can take is five people. And so the balloon should be able to lift off if it has five people on board. If there's six people, however, the weight force will be larger than the buoyancy force and it won't be possible for the balloon to lift off. So to summarise, we've seen that as the air inside the hot air balloon is heated, it becomes less dense as some of the air molecules move out of the balloon. Because the air inside the hot air balloon is less dense than the surrounding air, it feels a buoyancy force due to Archimedes' principle. This buoyancy force allows the hot air balloon to lift itself, its basket and some passengers into the air. When the hot air balloon is finished flying through the sky and is ready to come back down to earth, it's going to release some of the hot air into the atmosphere and replace it with the surrounding cooler air. As it does this, the buoyancy force will decrease and so the weight force will become larger than the buoyancy force and the hot air balloon will come back to the earth.